Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Draw Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix God of War Ragnarok is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck all load in screen and even many more issues such as black screen and how we can fix this so let's dive into the workaround. The first step is all about, we have to do a simple restart. So just do a simple restart on your system. So just go over to the start icon, go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, try to launch the game and that's all you have to do. Next one is all about, we have to launch the game not from the Steam. Instead, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So we just need to go over here in the, this PC, go to local disk C, go to the program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common, from here navigate to go uh, God of War, Ragnarok, you will be able to find it, you just find it over here. So uh, God of War, Ragnarok, open this and now from here you have to launch the game. So instead of launching the game from the Steam, try launch the game from here, it will be working in most cases. And also we have a shortcut to the installation folder over here in the Steam, just go to the game. But we, instead of uh, just go over here and right click, go to the properties, go for the installed file and click on the browse. That will also take you to the installation folder. So I suggest you can, instead of using the shortcut, forget it, just directly go over here in the file explorer and navigate to the local disk. Next one is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode and we have to run the game in the uh, run as administrator. So we just need to go over here. Just go to the game, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to scroll down and navigate to God of War Ragnarok and from here we have to launch the game. So try launch the game from here. So this will be working, not launch the game, we have to click over here, right click, go to more options, go to the properties and navigate to the compatibility. Now from here as you can see most cases this will be unchecked. First one go for run the program as administrator, go for apply and go for ok. And also you can go over here and go to show more options and go to the properties, go to the compatibility. Now from here click on run this program in the compatibility mode and you have to set this to windows 7 and you can go for apply or you can set this to windows 8 and you can go for apply as well. Go for ok and ok once after done with this try launch the game. Moving to the next one, we can also try doing this, you can also launch the game, hit on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related but this even worked for many users in my knowledge. So just click on the play button and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and it worked for many users in my knowledge so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about apart from this, you can also allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the game, search for control panel, you can search for the control panel, click on this one and you have to go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow and apport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to the game. So over here you will be able to find God of War Ragnarok, you will be able to find it over here. And also make sure the private and public both has to be marked, which is a very important step. So if the game is not added here, we can add it. Just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse and navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to the program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps and we have to go to the common. Now from here navigate to, uh, over here keep scrolling down and navigate to, uh, keep, just go above and you will be able to find it. God of Ragnarok, select this one and select this one and we have to open and add it. So I'm getting the error because the game is already added. That's why I'm getting the error. So once everything is done, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we have to delete the saved game file. So we might be saving the game when we are trying to play. So just go over here in this PC, navigate to the documents. Over here, as you can see, there are folders like this. So we will be able to find the folders over here for the game. So what we need to do is, we just need to, over here we'll be having a folder when you started playing the game, the uh, God of War Ragnarok, you'll be able to find it. So just delete the respective folder. But you will be losing all the progressions of the game, that is fine, but even though it is fine, you can just delete it, you'll be losing all the progressions, but even it worked for many users, you can try this out. 
Next one is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with joysticks, we might be connected with controllers. These even cause the issue up. So just unplug everything. We have to unplug everything. So once everything is unplugged, launch the game. Once you're in the game, you can connect back and you can try continue playing the game. This even worked for many users in my knowledge as well. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to window security. Just go over here and search for the control panel. We have to search for the control panel. Go over here in the system and security. Go for Windows Defend, Defender Wall. Like I said, go for allow and app or features. Just add the game from here. Once afterwards, try launch the game. Still, after trying with this, if you're having the issue, don't get panicked. We can try a few more steps. And one among them is we have to perform a clean boot. Just go over here. Search for system configuration. We have to search for system configuration and click on this one. Go for services. Go for uh, disable all. Go for hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. So as you can see, you have to go for restart. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for exit without restart. And once afterwards, just go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to uh, disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Make sure if it is enabled, we have to disable this and try launch the game. And also we have to give few commands in the launch option. So this is another step which worked for many users in my knowledge. So the first command is we have to give the command DX11. If DX11 is not working, we have to give DX12. If DX12 is not working, D3, D2. That is what we have to do. You can try giving the command D3, D2 and that will be working fine as well. So you can type any one of these three commands and once afterwards just close everything and try to launch the game and that's what we have to do. Moving to the next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, right click, go over here in the task manager and right now as you can see we have to remove everything from here like unwanted things for example will be there for example overclocking and overlay applications because when we're running these kind of high-end games there will be a lot of things running in the background which even result for the crashing so just remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here and search for the graphic settings. Just search for the graphic settings like this. You have to select this one and we have to go over here and add the game. Just, just click on the browse. This PC, go to local disk C, program file x86. Go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Keep scrolling down and navigate to God of War Ragnarok. Select this one and go for this one and we have to add the game. So here it is already added. Uh, so that's why I'm getting the error. So just go over here in the game as you can see by default just click on the option So this will be let windows decide by default change this to high performance and go for save Once that just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game Next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory So just go over here and search for view advanced system settings So just click on this one go to the advanced tab Go to the settings once again, advance it once again and go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk C. Go for the custom size that is initial size which is 1.5 times the rotal RAM and the maximum size 3 times the rotal RAM. So just go over here and go over here into calculator and just click over here. So we have to type the RAM. So the RAM of my computer is 32 GB. So just type your RAM, multiply with the constant value that is 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 and we have to paste it. Next one is maximum size. We have to type 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3. That is 98304 and you have to copy this and we have to paste it. So once everything is being set, I just close everything and we have to click close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to update the window. So just go over here and we have to go to the settings. Just go to the windows update so just update the windows so uh, updating the windows is a very important step so just make sure the windows is up to date that is also very important and also we have to try updating the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description over here as you can see for the nvidia users as well as to the amd and to the microsoft visual c plus plus so the nvidia users select everything like your product product series should be selected everything should, should be selected and go for find and over here as you can see you'll be able to find the latest versions so over here as you can see this is the 561.09 is the latest version 
which is around September 17, 2024, which is around 691.04 MB and we have to download this one. And also you can go over here and you can uh, select graphics. You can just select everything over here and also you can navigate to uh, everything. Once you go for the graphics, you can select everything. If you're on the any other things, you can process this can be selected. If you're on the graphics, select graphics, radio and RX, select the respective versions and you'll be able to find submit and you'll be able to if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can download this one you can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus so just try downloading and installing the microsoft visual c plus plus the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one and install restart is mandatory and try launch the game so very important step is all about we can try two steps it's very important one is we have to uninstall the game just go over here in the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which you uninstall, you have to try a new local disk. And the last very important step is we have to verify integrity of game file. So if any files are corrupted, you will be having these kind of issue. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, install a file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but even though we have to wait because it's a very important step. So just wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
As you can see right now, all the files are successfully validated. So just close this and try to launch the game. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.